tutorial for this trend. First, go into Roblox and put on clothes that are not grey or black. Now search up or use the zombie emote. Turn your character to the side and record a couple times to make this part in the video. After go into TTD3 and get a vibe gun from the prop shop. After all that teleport to the green screen area. Don't forget that you need to change your hair so it looks different in the video. Record yourself equipping the gun a few times. Now go into CapCut and take your first video we did. Put the same video as an overlay. Adjust it and crop the sides. Replace not the overlay but the actual video with this photo. Adjust it. I forgot to crop the sides here so I just did it. Use the chroma key effect and put up the intensity too. Get rid of the background. Now go on adjust and follow what I do. Move graphs down. And put the brightness down. Now you have the first part of your edit. Crop the overlay to where your character falls back. Screen record the audio from my edit on my shorts. Put in the audio. Now slow down your character falling. Use the custom option. Slow down only the last part. Now we have this. Then put the video from TTD3. Crop it down. To get rid of the background, use the chroma key option again. Go back to adjust and redo the same thing for the other clip. Now you're gonna wanna move the first clip with the keyframe option. Make them fly out the frame. This will represent this part in the video. After you've done that, make the other clip come into the frame. Now for the bullet screenshot this. Use the chroma key option again. Size the bullet down then aim it. Now use the keyframe option once again. To bring the bullet in the frame. Screenshot this for the blood. Chroma key option. Go to the blend option down below and press burn. Put the blood on the character. And use the keyframe to make it look like it's there when the bullet is in the character. After you're done with adjustments you should be done. If you want to add text or whatever you desire go on. I hope this helped and thank you for the support.